This is a resilienttech.io video and today we're going to be looking at my absolute favorite VHF radio, the EF Johnson 5100 ES or in the form of this one which is yellow, the 51 Fire ES. This is by far my favorite radio as a ham and as a first responder. Um, of all time for three reasons. The three reasons are its performance, its resilience, and its ease of use. Um, you can see it's just a really physically solid radio. I don't know if that comes across in the vid video. It's not super heavy, um, but it's really tough. It's made of this tough plastic. And this reflects the its origins as both a military and a first responder radio. So this is one of the few radios that's been developed for both the military and the first responders. It's got really nice tactile uh, channel selector here on top um, and on off button. Um, <coughs> it's got a really um, high performance VHF antenna here and it's got um, a lithium ion battery. I'm just going to take that off and you can take a look at that. And this just kind of lasts, lasts forever. I have to remember to charge these because it just keeps on going. Uh, I'm going to turn the radio on here and you're going to see it's popping up here with the some information about the um, the firmware and so on. You can see I've got some channels programmed into these called FPP1, FPP2, FPP3 or field program. Uh, what I absolutely love about these radios is, as these radios are configured, now not all EF Johnsons are configured this way, but these particular ones that we've got are configured so that you can do uh, keypad programming or front panel um, programming. And I'm going to show you um, how we can do that really easy. If you've ever tried to front panel program a, a bow thing or any ham radio, you know it's just a real pain in, in in the down there, you, you're trying to remember how to do it, you're having to look at the instruction guide and whatever. This is just really intuitive. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is um, go and show you some field programming. So I'm going to um, go in and press the, the F2 key is like the menu key here and the F1 key is the back key. So I'm going to press the F2 key to get the menu. You can see we've got a bunch of different menu options and one of them is keypad programming. I'm going to press that again and then we get some different options. Change zone for changing the bank or zone. Uh, change channel to change the channel. By default it's going to be the channel that we've got selected up here. Sys params which is system parameters. Channel parameters which is the main one we use. Um, so we're going to go to channel parameters and then we can see you can change the receive frequency transmit frequency, receive code, transmit code, transmit power, transmit timer, <coughs> um, channel alias, you can actually give it a name through the keypad, uh, strapping uh, keys, that's just for encryption keys, uh, although we don't have those on these radios. Uh, channel spacing, this is important, so you can do the wide band, we'll just go in there now, wide 5.0, for ham use or narrow 2.5 for public safety use. And we'll go back from that. Um, squelch, you can adjust and so on. So basically everything you can adjust in this menu. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to type in a frequency. Um, I'm just going to do um, a common ham frequency, 146.52. So you can go up and down to change each of these. So four, press the two again to get Go to the six again, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, and then we just keep pressing. You've got to remember to keep pressing it to get back, otherwise, it will forget it. So, as a receive frequency, we'll go up to the transmit frequency, and again, we'll do one, four, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, go to the end, and that's it. If we want to transmit, put in um, PL codes or uh, DCS codes, we can do that here in a similar fashion. 
Um, let's change the alias as well, just for fun. Channel alias, so it's FPP1 right now. I'm going to make it calling, because that's a calling frequency. So you can see the A, B, C, just go on again. Call, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. type that in. And then that's it. And again, we can just go on to the end and now we're done. So if we go back now, we've now got a channel, can you see that called calling? And if I press the button there, it's going to transmit on that calling frequency. You can see the red light coming on there. And if you don't believe me, the second button here on the left, that actually changes between the display name and the frequency. So you can see there we've got 14652 um, in that frequency we can transmit on it. Um, the other buttons up here, I think this one is just the backlight, and this one is the monitor. Um, and then these ones, F4, um, I believe, if we go back, what F4 does, but <laughs> F3, I guess, switches from analog to digital, maybe, I can't remember. One thing I should say is in this field program, we've got a bank of channels you can program um, for um, analog use, and then there's a bunch for P25 use. So this, this radio does P25 as well, so if you're ham using P25, you can program in P25, and um, if you use it for public safety, you can use that too. So this is just a fabulous little VH radio. They actually come in UHF and 800s and have these too, but I just wanted to highlight this v yellow VHF radio. I have a few of these in stock right now, and I'll give the link where you can, you can get one. I just have a few that are pretty hard to come by, so if you do want one, I'd advise getting it quickly. Thank you for listening to this video from Resilient Tech. Oh, yeah.